I'm Gabby and I'm Georgie and we are the mummies of Sisterhood Furniture and content creators for Dixie Bell Paint. In this tutorial we will be working on this tunnel and transform it into this with the help of Dixie Bell Paint. So stay with us if you want to see how we did it. Let's do it! Let's do it! Let the fun begin. Let's prep this piece really, really well. It was a lot of work. The piece was really, really dirty and rough. Our mom helped us so much with this piece. She sanded it with an 80 grit, which is a quite abrasive sandpaper. This basically will help to get rid of the old varnish all over. And then she switched to a 320 grit, which will smooth out the wood. I cleaned the piece really really well with white lightening Dixie Bell Furniture Cleaner uh, with an abrasive cloth and a toothbrush for details and for tight spaces. Once I finished with white lightening I rinsed the piece twice with clean water to get rid of any leftover solution, dirt, etc. We let it dry overnight and right in the morning we applied Great Boss which is a magic product and for these rough, beaten up, smelly pieces it's great having this. It prevents odor, bleed through, it's just perfect. We applied two coats letting it dry for 24 hours before painting. We will be creating some texture for the base using chocolate and sea spray, which is a texture additive. I added little by little until I get the right texture. Uh, we don't really follow any rule like go by grams or scoops, we just add the powder as much as it feels like the right texture. And of course I'm here with Shiva, you see I think she's sleeping but surely she will join us later. And then I started to apply the texture with a synthetic brush. Just don't use your best brushes to add the texture because it's kind of rough on them. It's messing them up quickly. Then I did a um, texture mixture with um, Bunker Hill Blue for the top of the piece. I started with the top, but now for the second coat we switched to paint, enough with the texture. I applied in the navy around the edges to create a shadow and I just blended them with the same brush, up and down and side motions, a quick little blending there. I carried on with the Bunker Hill Blue on the drawers. I spray the area with water so I can move the paint easily. I just didn't pick up any more bunker here blue at this point. And I started to drag down that watery paint which will leave the brown texture underneath picking through nicely. Then I applied Peacock on the door edge so there will be the most intense shade and as I'm going back up to the drawer I will have less paint on the brush. It's the same as we did with Bunker Hill Blue basically. Having the paint so watery will make it really easy to move the colors around and blend them using side up and down motions and the brown will also be revealed, that's the main idea. The next shade of blue is pure ocean, so I started to apply it on the edges of the door where I want the full color intense 
and on the middle i want that distressed look as i did above i want that brown to be showing through but like mostly on the middle and um it will almost look like a sandy beach on a really 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 windy pre-storm day where the sand is all in the air looking quite dreamy in my opinion anyway applying it on the edges first uh, then um, water it and drag it to the middle will help us create that look as all that load of paint will be left on the edges I added a bit of gold as well, which is um, a bit of a lighter shade of blue and it will act as a highlight, it will look good. Next it's Colonel Mustard, I initially didn't thought to add yellow, just oranges, but then I said, you know what, let's add some yellow as it will make it look like a crazy sunset when I overlay orange and I actually love it. More colors are always um, better. Um, the same, I applied it from the bottom to the top using loads of water and I lift up the yellow on the corners and blended it slightly with a pure ocean and the golf combo. So now I added Florida Orange and this is our last color. I just love it. It's so vibrant and just gives you good vibes, like a feeling of, hey, summer is still here. I worked on the legs as well and we left the whole piece to dry for about two hours. Now this is the game changer part when working on the details. I grabbed some artist brushes and I painted this glorious part of the piece. This is like the cherry on the top. I picked up Peacock then Pure Ocean and I went over the details. I added some Florida orange of course and it looks stunning just as I imagine it. It's, it's lovely. The next step, but not the last as you might have thought, it's sealing the piece with flat clear coat in three layers and I let it dry for two hours in between each one. The last step now it's applying bronze gilding wax so I went over the details with wax and then I carried on on the edge. The next part is working on the drawer so I picked up a small amount of paint went over the edges and then with the leftover wax I had on the brush I created some drips just make sure to use the leftover wax and a light hand otherwise it's getting quite messy we are done here and this is the final result thank you so so much for watching Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, learned something new and maybe just inspired in any way. And if you did so, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. 
for more furniture tutorials. See you next time. Bye!